It's my time, it's my time, it's time to learn about numbers. My time is my time, multiply fractions today. Hello. Welcome to math time. Today we're going to be multiplying fractions. Uh, yesterday your assignment was in iReady. There's some great videos in iReady that break it down real slow for you and then they give you some practice. So hopefully you got a little acquainted with it yesterday. Today I'm just going to run through two different strategies you can use to multiply a whole number by a fraction. And um, then I'm going to have some Khan Academy assignments for you tomorrow. And probably give you some practice today as well through a form on Teams. So look out for that this afternoon. Um, so without further ado, multiplying fractions. All right, so if we have an example here that says to find five times three fourths, our first strategy we're gonna use is to draw a model. Okay, so I kind of drew out some shapes already into fourths so we could kind of visualize what this looks like. Because math is a very visual subject. So if I was to take five times three fourths, I would have to do three fourths. How many times, Robert? Five times, that's right. So I'm going to make one three-fourths here. Okay. Because we know that if we have fourths, oh, that looks terrible. You get the idea. All right, so if we have that's three-fourths. So we've got, you know, we know by now fractions, if there's four equal parts and we shade in three, that is considered three-fourths. So we'll just do that for all of these because there's five of them. One, two, three, four, five and then each is divided into fourths and we're shading three. So five three-fourths. All right. So five three-fourths looks like that. So now we're gonna take all those fourths and kind of combine them all together. Because we can look at this and say, how many fourths are there? Well, here there's one, two, three. Count with me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 fourths. So we can write the answer as 15 fourths. Or we can write it as a mixed number and find out how many holes we have and then what fraction we have. So I drew out another model so we could fill in just the number of fourths there are total into a, a, an example here like this. So I have 15 fourths here, but I want to take all those fourths and do what's called consolidate them into holes. So then I have a nicer looking number, which is a mixed number, which is a whole number and a fraction, which we worked with last week. So if I take one, two, three, four, three fourths, there's one, two, three. Okay, so I'm done with this guy. And now I'm going to take that fourth right there and put it down here. So now I've created one whole, right? So now I'm done with him, but now I'm going to do these two. One, two, three, four. there's one, and there's two. So now I'm done with this one. So then I'm going to take this one and that one. So now I've taken those two, and then I'm going to put one more up here. So basically just transferring all of them, all these fourths, so that I can fill up the holes. Because fractions are much neater when they are in a hole. So then this is four fourths, right? Four fourths, but this is one hole, one hole. It's a lot easier and nicer, and nicer to consolidate them like that. So I'm done with these guys. So now I still need to put the rest of them. There's six fourths left. So then I'm going to put one here, two, three, done with you. And now I've got how many more fourths left, Caitlin? That's right, I've got three-fourths. So I'm just going to go ahead and color in three-fourths here. Okay, so that's three-fourths done. So now I can write it as a mixed number. How many holes do I have, London? One, two, three. You got it. So I'm going to write the number three, but then I still have a fraction. A mixed number is a whole number plus the fraction. Uh, Alita, so what is my fraction? That's right, it's three-fourths. So, another way to say 15 fourths is 3 and 3 fourths. If you count up all the fourths and you fill them in, you fill in the holes. All right, so this is written like, so our answer to our problem is, so 5 
original problem times 3 fourths is 15 fourths or better written as 3 and 3 fourths. I'm going to show you one more way to do this using repeated addition because we know that multiplication is basically just addition over and over again. So same problem, but this time we're going to use repeated addition. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and open that up. So repeated addition, we're just going to add up 3 fourths five times. 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths. But remember, when we add fractions and the denominator is the same, we do not change the denominator because we're looking at fourths, right? We're not looking to add all those up. We're looking to keep that denominator the same. But the numerator is 15, just like up here. Now, another way that you can find to turn a improper fraction, we call it, when the numerator is bigger than the denominator, we call that improper. I'm going to zoom in on this little math problem I did over here to kind of show you a strategy to find. Zoom, 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 zoom it on in. So if we want to find how to put a, an improper fraction into a mixed number like I've done here, you can divide it. So I divided, so I'll, I'll rewrite it here because I did it real quick, but let me rewrite it for you. So I'm going to take that 15 and I'm going to divide it by fourths because that's basically what we did here. We just divided that 15 into fourths. So it's how many fourths? Well, I look at four, so four times two is eight. Four times three is 12. Four times four is 16. I've gone too high. So four times three, four times three is 12. And then I subtract. So 15 minus two is three. So watch this. So here's my whole number. Here's my remainder, but I've got to put that remainder over fourths. So three and three fourths is still the answer. That's just another way to turn an improper fraction into a mixed number. Okay, so zoom back out. So that's how you multiply fractions. And this, this particular activity was just to show a whole number times a fraction. We're going to get to other types of multiplying fractions soon. But for right now, I just want us to focus on being able to multiply a whole number and a fraction. Show, you know, showing you five groups of three-fourths and how does that look. Okay, so I'm going to be posting a form today for you to answer a few questions. You can use either strategy. And remember, you can always go back and watch these videos. Okay, you can always pause if I'm going too fast. And you can always rewind what I said, or you could go back and rewatch the whole thing over again to help you. And Khan Academy is going to be helping you. iReady can help you. Go on YouTube and find out how do I multiply uh, fractions. There are so many resources out there, guys. So be your own learning advocate. And have an awesome day. Miss you.